Keep a bucket of fresh water on hand while sampling. This will allow you to briefly reoxygenate the fish in the case that it becomes stressed. In general, only take samples from fish that you are already keeping. These should be fish caught legally and intended to be used as food. Only sample from fish for release if you are trained and have two people present to ensure the health of the fish. If two trained people are present for sampling, the process is likely to take less time and therefore be less stressful on the fish. Remember to always keep the fish out of the water for as little time as possible. If necessary, place the fish into the water bucket between steps. Taking a fin clip and measuring the fish should only take about one minute. If fishing, try to land the fish using a rubber net. If you don't have a net, bring the fish into shallower water and let it calm down. When moving the fish, cradle it gently under the belly with a wet hand. Unhook the fish carefully using forceps if possible. Do not at any time touch the fish's gills with fingers or line, squeeze or put pressure on the fish, drag the fish onto dirt or sand, lift the fish out of the water by fishing line, lift the fish into the boat, or sample if the fish is exhausted from reeling it in. With a wet hand, hold the fish gently but firmly. You should have a firm enough grip to ensure that the fish does not slip, but gentle enough that the fish is not harmed. Carefully spread the anal fin out across your hand. It is easier to hold the scissors steadily when the fin is resting flat. The anal fin is located on the bottom side of the fish in front of the tail fin. Carefully clip a small piece of the anal fin using small scissors, approximately two to four millimeters by two to four millimeters. For smaller fish, take a smaller sample. Start at the back of the anal fin and cut in the direction of the fish's head. Place the fin clip into a small vial of ethanol. Once all the measurements are taken, the completed label will be placed inside as well. If at any time the fish seems stressed, briefly place it in the bucket of fresh water to reoxygenate or permanently release it. The health of the fish should always be the highest priority while sampling. Use a wet, soft measuring tape to measure the fish. This method is an easy way to get the length of the fish. You can measure the fish while it's still in the net or briefly place it on a wet surface that is not dirt or sand. To get the total length of the fish, gently pinch the tail and measure to its longest point. Record the length of the fish onto the label that will eventually be placed inside the tube containing the fin clip for that fish. Take a close-up, full-length picture of the fish that shows its full outline and important features. If the fish appears to be a cutthroat species or a cutthroat rainbow hybrid, try to get the throat slash area into the picture. Use a timestamp camera if possible. Most cell phones automatically timestamp photos. Record the time onto the label. Include GPS coordinates if they're available. Make sure to have a system of recording what picture and length measurement goes with what sample. An easy way to do this is to bring along a small field notepad. Labels should be written in pencil on a small piece of paper and include the following. The fish number, for example, number one if it is the first fish sampled, the date, time, ideally from the picture timestamp, the general location or GPS coordinates if available, the length of the fish as previously measured, and the name of the person doing the sampling. Place the completed label into the corresponding fin clip file. Make sure that you match the correct information to the correct sample. Cradle the fish and gently lower it into slow water facing upstream. Moving the fish back and forth facilitates the flow of oxygen through the gills. Do not throw the fish back into the water. Allow the fish to swim away using its own power. The longer you hold it facing upstream, the more it can recover. Always remember that even though this data is important, the health of the fish is far more important and should always be made the priority while sampling. If you'd like to sample alongside our research teams, you can volunteer for small group electrofishing and hook and line sampling. Please contact us to volunteer and learn about sampling, ecology, and conservation of cutthroat, rainbow, and bull trout.